Hey everybody and welcome to Make With Mod Posh. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion and today's episode is all about summer entertaining. Yes, our summertime theme is tropical. So we found these tropical napkins at the dollar store and it inspired us to make these projects. We're going to be showing you how to make this cool drink caddy. Now we've got our glasses and paper straws lined up in here, but you could use this for condiments and napkins and utensils, whatever you want. It's just a really fun way to welcome your guests when they come in. And again, using that napkin deco crush, so we've got that theme going throughout the project. I love that project. We're also gonna be showing you how to use the napkins on the back of a clear plate. This is a great plate for appetizers. And we're gonna be using dishwasher safe Mod Podge Perfect for washing on the top rack of your dishwasher. We're also gonna be throwing back to a really fun craft that we did last year, and that is these flameless candles. When Steve showed me these napkins, I was like, oh my gosh, we've got to pull those blue candles out because they just match so well. So we are gonna roll tape on what we did last year mm -hmm. and share this quick tutorial with you as well. These are so fun for the center piece. Super fun, this is Mod Podge flashback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it. Okay, so I'm ready to show you how we did our drink condiment utensils caddy for our party. Before we get started, I'm gonna throw up a picture and show you what it looked like before. It was just plain wood. Um, and to that plain wood, uh, this one I've got, I've got it working on all sides to show you how I did it. So I went ahead and I used the full car home decor chalk to just paint the base of it wood. So I did that on all four sides. And I kept the inside the natural wood because I thought it just looked really pretty and summery and fresh. Um, so that was just basically, I just, just did a basic paint. And the reason why I did that is because we want our napkins to be able to pop. If I didn't paint it white to start, you would get much more of a muted tone, which is really beautiful also, but I wanted a little bit more of a bolder look. So the first thing that you're gonna do is take your napkins, and like I said, we got these at the dollar store, and I just loved all of those colors, and like we always do with our napkin projects, we're only working with the top printed ply, and I find it much easier to cut the napkins after I have separated them. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate like that, and let's grab some scissors. I'm gonna show you how you can go in and just do a really simple, not a fussy cut, just a very simple cut. Now these are all getting layered up, so don't worry about if some of those leaves get caught, uh, cut off because it's okay. They're gonna end up just getting overlapped onto each other. So for these um, types of projects, I like to put some pieces on the top and some pieces on the bottom. So what we're gonna do, I'm using the Mod Podge gloss today. You could use matte or satin, whatever you want. I've got a little bit of it pulled out here. And let's just go ahead and apply that directly to our box. Now I'm working upside down, guys, so that you can see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get that applied onto there. Okay, so I've got my Mod Podge down and I'm just gonna start with my first napkin piece and just place it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that with my fingers and go ahead and seal that down. Let's see, with our gloss Mod Podge, just like so. And I'm being careful because I don't want my napkin to rip, but I'm applying a little bit of pressure just because I want some of those wrinkles to come out also. You could spritz your napkin with um, just spray water if you wanted to. We do that all the time. We're doing that on the plate today. Um, but for these overlapping projects like this where you're gonna really be collaging it, it's not necessarily necessary. That's a mouthful. Not necessarily necessary. <laughs> okay, go ahead and get that top coated and you can see how that napkin just starts to blend in. Now I have sharp edges here, and I'm not worrying about that today because we are doing so much overlapping that a lot of those sharp edges will end up blending away. So let's go ahead and add another little piece up here. So again, you can just add your Mod Podge, and this is really just collaging with these napkin pieces. Let's go ahead and add that one. And you'll just continue to do this until the design is completely filled in. Just 
like so. Now, if you want, let's say we wanna clear that up. We wanna add like a flower. So you can just go in and you don't have to be real detailed. Just go in and kind of cut out your flower shape or whatever shape from your napkin that you're working with. And then let's go ahead and just show you how you can continually overlap these onto each other. Let's add our flower right there. And you will just keep layering up those pieces. Now I've got this side here where you can see lots of layering was done. And over here, I've got a little bit of the layering started. So I can show you here. Let's say we wanna add a little detail here. Let's go ahead and cut out another one of those flowers. And if you wanted to, you can also tear the edges if you want a softer edge, just like so. There's really no right or wrong, wrong way to do this. Let's go ahead and add that one down. And you just continue to fill it in until you're happy with how many flowers and tropical leaves you have down. Now, once that is done, you are ready to continue to fill it in and then you will set it aside and let it dry for 24 hours. I like to do it overnight before I do the next step. So once it's dry, you're ready to finish it off and I wanna show you the ways that I finished this one off. The first thing I did uh, on the handle here, I used some of this cool cording. I've been using this for so many summer projects this year, but I just glued it and wrapped it around that just to give it a little bit of texture and just something a little bit different. And then I used um, these wood words here that says welcome. I glued that to the front. I just wanted something that was very inviting when people came and they would see their drinks or the condiments, whatever you wanna put in there. This is such a fun, simple, easy project for entertaining. But a wood surface like this can be used for so many things, beauty supplies, tools, whatever. So just think about when you're looking at wood blanks, what can I make with that? Because these are really cool to work with. Now, I told you earlier that we were going to be doing a flashback to our candle craft from last year. And we, I just want to talk to you about how you do those. So for the candles, these are our flameless candles. What we did was we applied squares of tissue paper to the outside of the candle using Mod Podge, using gloss Mod Podge and using tissue paper squares. And then once these tissue paper squares were dried, we just rolled our candle in sand. We added Mod Podge to the base of the candle and then we rolled it in sand to create this cool kind of tropical beach look. So there you go. That's how easy it is to make these really fun candles. All right, let's go check out the plates that Steve is making. Okay guys, I am going to show you how to create this plate using our tropical napkin and our dishwasher safe Mod Podge. The first thing you wanna do is of course get yourself a plate. We've got this one right here and you want a clear plate. And you also want to make sure that it's clean and the way to clean these plates are with simple rubbing alcohol. Now the reason why you're cleaning these plates is you don't want any oils or dirt that's going to interfere with the process of using the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and your napkin on top of this. It's just a good uh, way to start your project and that's all it is is a nice clean all the way around and get around that rim there just like so. And then the next step is your napkin. So napkins usually come in two ply or three ply, like this one here is a one ply. I've already kind of started it. And you're just going to take off that second ply because all you're gonna want is the decorative side. And pull it apart. They come apart pretty easy. You wanna be a little bit careful so you don't tear it. You can see how easy that is to come off just like so. And there we have it. So there is our one ply, nice and thin. There's the back side, and there is the front side. Okay, so the next step is to add our dishwasher safe Mod Podge right on top of our clean plate. So we're going to apply a nice thin layer of Mod Podge right on top of our clear plate, our clear clean plate and make sure you hit all those edges all the way around. You can see that nice foggy thin layer. 
You wanna make sure you get these edges right in here. So we want the napkin to grab on all the way around to those edges around the side there. Now we got our napkins at the dollar store and these plates are very inexpensive. You can also buy these in bulk if you're gonna do a whole set of plates. You can get them online. You can also find them, you know, at any store really. They all have the clear plates. Okay, there we go. We have our nice thin layer down there. And our next step is we're going to be spritzing our napkin. And the reason why we spritz the napkin is it acts as a, a little bit less wrinkles in and it's also more durable. When you put it on, it's a little bit easier to work with. So we just spritz it. I want to show you though, there's a back side to this and a front side. You want to make sure when you are spritzing this that you're spritzing the side that is going to go down, the decorative side, because once this is wet, you can't tell the difference between the two. So I like to put the decorative side down and then when I spritz it and then I'm gonna pull it up and lay it down because you'll see you need a nice thin layer of spritz. That's plenty. And then I'm going to pick this up and I'm gonna lay this right on down. I'm eyeballing this. We have a middle of the napkin. So you're gonna center that right into the middle of the plate. That looks really good. I'm gonna lay that down and then I like to tap it with my fingers just to get that first little layer down. Then I'm gonna go right on top of this with a nice thin layer of the Mod Podge. Now the next step what you're gonna do is you're gonna set this aside for about two hours and let that dry. So let me move this over here and I just so happen to have one that has been drying already. And here it is. And you can see how this looks when it's completely dry. So this one's ready for the next step, which is cutting it. I also wanna show you guys a little bit of a tip, which I forgot to tell you, is a can. I love using a can for this project because it elevates your, your, um, your plate right here, and it's much easier to work off of instead of working on the ground, which is very difficult because you can't hit those edges. You can work just very nicely with a nice little lift. So I'm going to use a pair of scissors and I'm gonna get as close as possible. I like to angle my scissors a little bit and you're gonna get as close as possible and cut off this excess. Now this has been drying for about two hours and you can see how close I'm getting to that edge. The scissors are actually touching the plate so they don't want any of that napkin to hang over. You can see that nice edge there and you can flip it over and even Go in a little bit more. You can see that excess coming off and that gives it a really, really nice clean edge. So I'm gonna work my way all the way around and get that all off and we'll be right back. Okay, there we have it. Our edges are nice and smooth. All that excess has been removed from my plate. And as you can see, you can still kind of see through the plate right now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add some of our folk art, folk art multi-surface white right on top of this. So let me show you the difference between our two plates. This one is it's already been done. So you can see the difference between the back and then the front. And that's the look it gives you. It gives you that solid look and it really makes that print pop out. So I'm gonna add a little bit of our multi-surface right on top of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of paint right here on the side here and we're going to give it a nice coat right on top. And I wanna show you guys it this way so you can really see the difference while I'm doing it. Now I'm probably gonna, I will add about two coats of the multi-surface 
but you can see how this really changes the look of that plate. I'll speed this up too. Okay, so there you have it. There is the painted side, there's the not painted side, and that's what it does. Um, for sake of time, I'm not gonna finish it, and I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is adding, this one has already been dried, completely dried with our multi-surface paint, and to make this completely dishwasher safe, I need to add three coats of the dishwasher safe right on top of the back of the plate. Now I would do it three times, with two hours drying time in between at a 28 day cure time total, where you can now put that into the dishwasher on the top rack, and it's completely safe for food right on top of here. And this is a great dish for all sorts of fun occasions and appetizers and all sorts of things. So that's how you use dishwasher safe Mod Podge and napkins on the back of clear plates. Cheers, Kat. Cheers. To summer, and we hope these projects have inspired you. Now remember, we did a tropical theme, but you can do this in any theme that you want. Just mm -hmm. grab some napkins that you love. So if you love pink roses, find some pink roses napkins or leopard napkins, whatever you love. Yes, and don't forget to send us your projects. We love to see them. Hashtag Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts. That's it. We'll see you next week with another video. And remember, on Saturdays, we've got our YouTube premieres and you can catch our premieres on Instagram and Facebook on Thursdays. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.